All right, today we are playing Amanda the Adventurer. Don't know anything about it. I think it's supposed to be scary, so let's check it out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, man. Oh, dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again, unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there is still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. This next part may be a mistake, and, and God's forgiving me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. Well, that's creepy. Not a good start. Let's see. Okay, moving around. That's that's good. Oh yeah, duh. I forgot. Okay, so there's a note we just read. With you always, Aunt Kate, of course. Oh, that's... That's... I don't like that. I don't like that. Someone made a mess over here. We got some fungus growing. We got the mushrooms. The magic mushrooms. Alright, let's put in the tape. Alright. Hi, Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hey, Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. Oh, I like apple My pie. My favorite is peach pie. Ooh, I like peach pie too, actually. What's your favorite kind of pie? My favorite kind of pie is key lime pie. Oh, do I type it in? Key... Oh, mm, I didn't let me finish that it. That sounds delicious. Well, it is, Amanda. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. Then why'd you ask me First, what my favorite was? we need to cut the apples. Makes sense. Do you know what we can use to cut the apples? I'm gonna guess you need a spoon. We can't use that. Oh, okay. Fine. Knife it is. Good job! Oh. <laughs> we can use a sharp knife. Why is she holding it like that? Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. Yeah, listen to Wooly. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Uh, Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> okay, let's not do that, Amanda. That doesn't seem safe. Yeah, man, you need to listen okay, to Wooly. Let's cut the gap. Oh. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the uh, pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? I know, I keep mine in the sink. But it's probably, I guess, in the refrigerator? Nope. Try again. Wait, I forgot the options. It's in the cabinet. The sink. Don't you want to help me? Hey, chill out, Amanda. Wait, what was the other options to pick? So, where's the sugar? Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I didn't see the pantry up there. Great. Let's make a pie. Okay. Hmm. Can you smell the apples and cinnamon? I wish I could. I wish okay, I could. Okay. It's time to bake a pie. Okay. First, Preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. Woolies. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure. Woolies spin some are. facts out here. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. I don't think First, Amanda should be on her own. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Okay, 425. Then put the apples into the pie tin. Okay. Now put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. 40 minutes? That's a long time to wait for a pie, man. Our pie is ready. Oh. I can't wait to eat it. Wish I got to. Willie, let's have some pie. Hi. All right, so seemed. What? I guess I got butterfingers. Can I put it back up here? Okay. That wasn't very informative, but it was a little unnerving. I didn't like the way Amanda was holding that knife. So, and neither did Wooly. So, um. Oh. This moved. This was def that okay. This was definitely over there, but I think it wants me to make some apple pie. Oh, okay. Oh, nothing seems tastier than an apple pie. Oh, oh. I send a little shiver down my spine. Forty minutes at four twenty-five. Put the apple. Back in the pie dish, and we're going to throw that back in there, and we're going to make an apple pie. Yeah, wh what? Alright, I don't know about you, you're, 
using some dark magic or something there, Mr. Easy Bake Oven. Alright, let's see. What's next? Next episode? What will Hi, Amanda friend. teach us today? I'm Amanda! Mm -hmm. And I'm Wooly! Mm -hmm. What do you like best about your neighborhood? I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood! Today, I want to send something Ooh, special to my creepy. friend! Mm -hmm. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card! Okay. Do you know where the store is? Store? Well, there's a bake there's a corner store, the bakery and the post office. Emphasis on the f Okay, let's go to the corner store. Good job! Let's go to the store! Why were some of the letters part out? Card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Um, you should send them a they're sad? Well, you wanna make them happy, so let's throw them a party. It's not their birthday! Oh, that'd make me feel better. Right, let's give him a flower then. Do you think that's what they need? Oh, Amanda, the attitude. Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Mm -hmm. Can I have a special treat? No, you cannot, Wooly. I want to get my friend a special treat. <laughs> Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Um, I guess we'll buy him a baked good from the bakery. Good job! Thank you. Let's go get that treat! Mm-hmm. Oh! It's frozen. Oh, uh, that was... Mm, everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some... Whoa! Buy my friend some cookies. That Can gave me a little chill. That's you show me where the cookies are? That was creepy. That gave me a shiver. Um, sure. Here are the cookies. Mm -hmm. We just have one more stop in the neighborhood. The oh, man, now I'm scared what's going to pop friend. up on this screen. They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Okay. Her name is... Wait, I don't remember... Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. Yeah. You don't have to send that now. Yeah, listen to Wooly. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? I don't know. Um, Baba Two Bees. No, that's oh. not my friend's name. Oh. Oops. You have to oh. know their name. Wait, sorry, Amanda. It was a typo. Great work. Now we can send this to my friend. Okay. I hope she likes the so she was friends with Aunt Kate. Oh, that's the end of this episode. Hmm. Uh oh. Mhm. Mm ah. Uh, well, ever since that little weird cut, I'm scared to see what's next. You I don't like you. Hmm. Okay. You went back over there. No, you're here. But that whole video, it's still 345. Okay, but that whole video was about... Kate. And making her a treat, sending her mail. Uh-huh. Oh, what is this stuff? Can I look at this stuff? Whoa, okay, wait, wait. Let's read this real quick. Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you've since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again to trust. Uh, two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just proof gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and eventually it killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. That some, that some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. And I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research you do. The kind that normal people don't do. I don't know. Maybe it's just a rumor. But, there, but here I am. 
Oh, weird. Who's that from? Doesn't say. Maybe that's the same person. He used to watch that show. You know, it was really sweet at first. I remember that even used to tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess. And then it just got weird. I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. And it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe in that kind of work you do. Not at the library, the other kind of work. They just don't want to face the truth that something really evil was there. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write any more here. I feel like someone is watching me. Sincerely, Joanne Cook. Hmm. School records, behavioral complaints. So we got some notes here. Okay, so. Hmm, so something's weird going on with Amanda. She's telling kids to do weird stuff. So let's, let's see what this is going to give us real quick. Do I... Um, I'm guessing there has to be some sort of clues with this. Let's try to find that real quick. Um, don't be a stranger. I'm your neighbor. What happens if I put this tape back in? Maybe there's a clue in- Oh! I think I know, but there might be a clue. CBF, that's it. And I'm what kind of card oh, look, that, that's part of that- Oh, good thing I put this video back in, look, because this is part of that ripped note that was on the- Okay, okay, okay. 150325, let's try that first. Well, okay, let's try that first. So it's 15... Oh... Three, twenty-five. Didn't do anything. Okay, maybe that's for the next one. But it was definitely C, C, E, F. Oh. <laughs> yep. Our things are getting more and more creepy. We're gonna watch this next tape and then let's watch it. Oh, it's Wooly. It's you. Hey. Whatever you do, don't. <laughs> oh no! What did she do to oh, Wooly? Oh no! Wooly had an accident. Oh, you lie, Amanda. I know it was you. Accident is when something bad happens. I saw the way you holding that knife. It's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. Mm. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. That's the time on the alarm clock. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Well, it looks like his knee, but 3.45 is what's on my clock. That's right. Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Um, the doctor. Oh. Oops. D O C T O. Oops. I don't think they can help. How do you know? Don't even know how to spell it. You gotta ask me. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into uh, to find the right oh doctor my goodness. to help Wooly? She snapped Wooly's leg in half. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. I'm. Where are the other ones Amanda, boarded up? This really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see Why did we come we here? Can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? Huh. The heart monitor, the X-ray machine, or the scale? Right, let's use the X-ray machine. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bones. I don't think I want to look at Wooly's bones. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna show me. I'm so I'm scared every time it does that. Mm -hmm. That's definitely gonna play into it somehow too. All right, yeah, let that fall. All right, Amanda is getting suspicious. Three forty-five there. I'm guessing this says three forty-five too. Indeed, it does. It also says it over here is three forty. Interesting. All right. Well, alarm clock over there. Mr. Giant Pocket Watch. I guess we'll have to deal with you in the next one. All right, that concludes this episode of Amanda the Adventurer. In the next episode, we'll figure out what's going on with this clock. 
I'm scared for Wooly. Don't know what a man is going to do to him, but we're going to find out. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.